Okay. So it's been almost a decade since I uploaded uh, dyslexia and sheet music. Um, I made the video when I was 16 years old. I made it in one night, in the middle of the night, so I couldn't talk into a camera. I had very limited editing skills. So some people were saying, this is a great video, and other people were saying, it's a video for dyslexics and it's text only, what were you thinking? And they were right. I'm just glad that the video was helpful to some people. Since the upload of that video, I have developed and used this system for almost a decade, and uh, I'm now almost done college. I'm in my final year of music industry arts and performance at Centennial College in Toronto. Didn't quite make it to Berkeley, it was very expensive. Over the years, I have added a bunch of different features to the staves that I thought I should share with people. The first thing that I changed about the staves was the colors. Um, in the past, the colors were arbitrary, and instead of that, I modified them so that they were mnemonic devices as well as visual aids to help see the difference between where the lines are and not mix them up so that they don't wobble. They also help you remember where uh, G and B are because B is blue and G is green. I have found this to be also very helpful in helping recognize the difference in clefts with these blue and green lines indicating G and B as landmarks within the staves. It's been very helpful because you notice immediately that they've shifted position from where they would normally be in the treble clef if that's what you're normally reading or vice versa. There's so much I'd like to do with this methodology because the first two semesters of music theory nearly killed me. My school was great and my professors were great and my tutors were great and it was only with their support that I was able to use my accommodations which extended beyond just these modified uh, staves but went into things like memory aids, additional time. With all of that I was able to pass and get a B which is pretty good considering I knew nothing about sheet music uh, other than the notes when I walked in. I have to say the method does help but there's a lot that should be added but I haven't gotten around to because I don't have the skill or the time or the resources. Over the course of my post-secondary education, I noticed two things posed a huge challenge to my education despite how hard the school tried to accommodate me. And the first was the lack of technology that went with this method. My teacher could program in and hand out a black and white piece of sheet music for the rest of the class, but for me she had to do it by hand or she would dictate it and my tutor would write it by hand and we would have to print out tons of these pieces of paper instead of it all being digital. The other challenge was ledger lines. You can print uh, staves, but ledger lines you have to draw and if you can't draw them with color, you're kind of screwed. I found myself wishing that there was a piece of technology that could accommodate me. When I reached out to coders, uh, it pretty much hit a dead end because I don't want to charge money for the product. I want to keep it open source and that means I cannot pay them and that means that they're not interested. So this is a shout out to any coders who might be watching. Please contact me if you are interested in donating your time. Help me make either an app or a website that um, scans PDF black and white sheet music and is able to convert it into these colored staves so that dyslexics around the world uh, can continue learning and reading uh, sheet music. It does make a difference in our lives. Uh, you know, the comments and my own experience suggest that this is a great way to accommodate dyslexic students who have potential but are hitting a wall. Hey folks, so I forgot to film an outro in my bedroom, so I'm doing it out here. As always, the links to the colored saves are going to be in the description below. And if you're interested in contributing your skills to creating an app or a website that helps uh, transform PDFs into these colored saves, or uh, if you have a better idea for how to improve this method, please do be in touch. Uh, all my information will be down below as well. And thank you for watching, and please spread this around because if it's helped you, it's probably helped somebody else. All right, cheers guys. Bye.